So hey guys, uh, today I wanted to do something kind of new. Um, this is going to be a, a short mod preview, uh, and this mod has not been put out uh, for the, the regular public. It's been put out for a server that I'm playing on called OTE, which stands for uh, Over the Edge Gamers. And uh, one of the, uh, the server admins um, actually wrote this this mod pack, and I tell you what, guys, it's it's one of the one of the prettiest mod packs that I've seen, and you're going to see why. And the reason I started with the the title screen here is I'm going to show you how to get it set up, um, if you are interested in it. Now I'm not going to tell you guys how to get it right away because um, I need to find out if they want it to go to to the public. Right now it's available to the players on the server. Um, if you're interested in being uh, a part of the server. Uh, I'll put the link uh, to the website in the description below, and then you guys can uh, figure out how to get it on your own. Um, but um, Or, as time goes on, I'll probably end up putting it on here, so check back if you want, and I might have a, a new description or an edited version of this video. But uh, I, I wanted to... It's called Genesis, um, and he wrote it, and it's uh, this is the fifth version, uh, so we're on 1.0.5. Um, I've actually been playing as they've as they as they as they have come along. Ugh, tongue tied there, and um, they're they're just great. Um, there was a little bugs when we were uh, kind of testing it and seeing um, uh, what mods fit together and 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 stuff like that. But uh, I'll go through that here in a minute. But yeah, it's called Genesis. Uh, it will be on the AT launcher, uh, which is great. Um, I hate the FTB launcher um, because it just Downloads all these th pieces of, of of mod packs from everywhere instead of just downloading the whole thing in one package. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. The first thing you want to see um, is you want to go single player. I did a mod spot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete that one. I want to create a new world. We'll just call this uh, what we call this mod. We'll call this Genesis. Genesis one, and we're just gonna put it on creative because I'm just want to fly around and show you a couple couple cool things. Um, I don't really care about this, but what you're going to want to do um, on world type is put it on realistic alpha. And if you haven't played a mod pack that has this in it, this is this is something that I think should be the, the default world generation uh, program for Minecraft, and you're going to see why. So let's go ahead and create a world. Um, it's going to load up just like it usually does. But what this mod pack has, I think it's got somewhere around 144 mods I believe in it and um, it's got a lot of the, the the mods that you would see in in like infinity or um, I, I guess mod sauce kind of had a couple of these it doesn't have like gen advanced genetics and stuff like that that's a little bit overpowering um, but what it does have um, and when this loads up you'll see the terrain generation on this is awesome and the ore generation is completely different. Um, the ore generation is based on levels down way, way down. Um, so like coal would be somewhere down around like level three. Um, you can actually get into the config files and see exactly where stuff is. But if you, if you remember on Beyond Reality, um, ore generation um, is in gigantic clumps. Um, and that's what this does. So you might dig down and find, um, you know, like 50, 60 uh, blocks of iron, um, copper, or whatever, but they're not all together. Um, so first off, as you can see, the one thing that this is different from most mod packs, most mod packs, I don't want to say mod packs, world gens, um, it just creates, anytime it creates a mountain or, or, or w bodies of water, it just creates it randomly. So you'll always get those mountains that kind of have like the the hanging cliffs. They go out to nowhere, or you know, you might have like a, a string of like 20 dirt blocks that go out to nowhere, and there's a tree at the end of it. It just makes no absolutely no sense. Um, this actually takes in real world uh, the way that terrain should be. And as I fly around, I'm going to show this to you. Um, let's not jump on the ground. But as you can see, it's got uh, the trees are nice, but you're going to notice that the trees are with the terrain that it should be. Uh, in areas where it's dry, the trees are going to resemble the dry terrains. In areas where it's wet, it's going to resemble trees that you would find in wet terrains. This right here is one of the coolest things, though. Um, 
and you can see up in where the map is it kind of tells you the real real world um, generation this is called uh, the hot the one behind was called the hot forest looks like this one's called the hot forest too um, but the, the the terrain is just is just is just beautiful I love it um, we're actually started um, today on the server version um, so and I've actually got a head start on that so I'll probably start recording a series on that um, but something you'll notice is this is all dry terrain and this is all like a clay biome but it's kinda like the Grand Canyon look you know you got the big canyon but you'll notice that where there are rivers the, there's grass so anywhere where there's water you're gonna have more life growing where there's not water it's gonna be pretty barren and that's what this is kinda showing um, this is kinda like the safari type look um, it doesn't look like the where the map is it's changing the biome titles yeah it is hot plains so there was hot plains and hot forest um, but as I go around now we're going to get into a little bit more lush area and then you're going to have a desert area so you're going to have a lots of cactuses and, and regular Minecraft has cactuses in the desert that's a given um, but it's just the way that this is generated with biomes together so when it generates a map it's not generating like a big clump of a biome here and a big clump of a biome here and maybe something over here you know it's generating um, the way that you would see it maybe like on on Google Maps or Google Earth um, so where there's rivers the rivers are going to continue going there might be a little inlet like this these will be like a big um, a big lake but you're not going to have all these just random islands anymore um, it generates very similar to what you'd see in real world so um, now on the server version uh, which is the same as what you're seeing here um, it's it's pretty close to this I haven't really found anything that looks like um, um, like jungles or anything but it, it you know it still has the meteors but this is one of the coolest things right here um, the villages spawn like this now not all of them but a majority of them so when you spawn into a village not only do they have villagers and let's see if we can find one they have archers and the archers have a tremendous amount of hit points here's one right here so if we go up to him you can see how many hit points he has look at that yeah so they actually protect all the villagers so anytime a mob gets into your village uh, they attack them and, and they gang up on them which I think is awesome um, now the the village that I'm playing with, and you'll see it on my on my series. It doesn't have one of these walls around it. I wish it did, uh, but I'm creating my own wall. But the the town is pretty much like this. It has a gigantic castle in the middle of it, basically. Um, so I don't have like the castle walls. I just have a castle in the middle. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, now to talk about the mods, the mod packs that are in this, or the individual mods. Um, let's take a look. So you got your basic vanilla stuff right here. And then uh, we got uh, Witching Gadgets, uh, Blood Magic, of course, uh, Thomcraft, Thermal Foundation. We got Thermal Foundation Tools, uh, Thermal Foundation Armor, and, of course, you know, Thermal Expansion Blocks. So you got your, your sawmill and stuff like that. Um, your energy cells, of course, your, your portable tanks. So you got all that, your Tesseracts and stuff like that. You're also going to have your thermal expansion, um, the items, so uh, all the all the ingredients to make the different uh, items. Um, your tools, of course, your crescent wrench and and your your flux capacitors for your jetpacks. Um, you're also going to have uh, technomancy, technomancy, which I'm not familiar with, uh, but I'm sure I'm going to get into it eventually so I haven't really looked into this it looks pretty cool though um, industrial craft of course you got all the regular industrial craft stuff uh, carpenter blocks um, enhanced portals awesome mod um, extra cells actually an awesome mod too that goes along with um, some of the other mods um, this metallurgy core items this is really cool and I haven't really had a chance to craft it um, but this will give a, a good explanation of what I'm talking about on ore generation um, so if I click this on the ground it's going to tell me in this area which is a 16 by 16 area uh, it found 101 certus quartz and you can see down the bottom it found 28 blocks of 10 so if I dug way down we're going to find 
a crap load vein of that Certus Quartz. But as you notice, there was no diamonds or anything, so it depends on where you're at, what ores are going to generate. Uh, but when they do, when they do generate, they generate uh, in, in pretty good abundance. Uh, on the server version, though, we have a mining world that we can go to, so it's not going to be that important. Um, but if you were to play this, uh, say, on a server that doesn't have a mining age, um, then then basically, if you end up in an area that's got you know a crap load of diamonds, and your partner or, or your your other players maybe have a house over there and they don't, uh, you know, your your properties will be very val valuable to them. Uh, so maybe you can trade. I don't know. Uh, anyways, back to this. Uh, we got the machines, which kind of look like Greg Tech machines. Uh, of course, the blocks, uh, the metal metal or metal urgy uh, ingots, the tools. Um, you also got the armor, the cool armor. Uh, I haven't played with Femtocraft, but I've heard it's more of an in-game uh, ender type thing, so um, I'm sure we'll look into those. Maybe I'll do a spotlight on that later on when I get more familiar with it. Forbidden Magic. Uh, we got Molasses Doors. This is an awesome, awesome mod. Um, the way to create doors and make them swing in different directions, awesome. Uh, Redstone Arsenal, pretty OP if you can get a set. Um, me mechanism, awesome if you need... Um, the basic factories, and then you got the advanced and the elites. Um, this is also a good way to do uh, ore doubling and ore tripling and quin what is it? Quadrupling and quintupling, I think. Um, you got your digital miner um, that we're actually allowed to use in our mining age, which is cool. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Crayfish's furniture. This is hilarious mod. Um, one of the coolest things I found, and I don't know why I think this is cool, uh, but let's put this down on the ground. Okay, it's a toilet, right? So watch what happens when I sit on it. Okay, I'm going to sit on it. Press F5 so you can see me. Now listen to this. Oh, it says press F for farts. I just want to do this real quick. So let's go in our controls because I think it's way at the bottom. Uh, oh, it's a number lock. Yeah, I remember I changed that. Listen to this. So yeah, we don't take Minecraft seriously at all. Uh, but yeah, this is an awesome mod pack. Um, it's got all kinds of cool things. One of the cool, one of the one things I like is the computer. Uh, if we jump off here real quick, uh, if we put the computer down, oh, that's the toilet. If we put the computer down, now I don't know if these things need power or not. That's the one thing that I have to, to research. Uh, but it's almost like an eBay type thing. So uh, say you want hardened clay, it's going to cost you one emerald. Um, there's just different things that you can actually buy, um, and a spawn a horse, um, you got bottles of enchanting, but it has a value down here, so I don't know if you can actually buy it or not, um, but that's cool. It also has microwaves, it's got TVs, uh, the TV is awesome, you can watch He-Man on it, check that out, an old version of He-Man, got some cool kitty stuff, uh, blank TV screen, and we got that. So, yeah, that's a cool mod pack. Um, I can't wait to get into that. Uh, we also have open blocks, um, which is cool. You got your uh, your building guide here and stuff. Um, it does have harvest craft. Uh, not that it's needed in the game, um, but you can grow stuff. There's The, the health regeneration is, is pretty much uh, vanilla, so you don't have to worry about um, you know uh, diminishing returns on your food. Uh, random things, just random things. Um, RF tools, so this is in there now. Um, RF tool dimlets, so if you want to make uh, basically another age, is basically what these are for. Um, you can use those. Um, atomic energetics, and we got um, thermal dynamics, all the tubes. Tinker's defense, uh, traveler's gear, have not played with this at all, uh, but it looks pretty cool. I think the armor stand looks pretty cool. Um, it's kind of a, a, a a beefed up version. Let's get the sun back out for us. We also have uh, blue power blocks, and blue power machines. Since uh, the uh, author of uh, red power stuff um, is done, everything's changed to blue power. Um, so you have all that and basically the same circuits and stuff. Uh, blue power lighting's awesome. Batania, of course, you can't go without Batania. Uh, the MMB battle gear, uh, the Archmages Arc stuff. So you're going to have the, um, like we saw, um, the black towers. 
uh, Applied Energistics 2, fun mod. Uh, we've got the facades for it and then some other stuff. Backpacks, uh, Bibliocraft, and another thing that, about this mod pack, um, it's it's got a ton of decorative mods in it. So if you want to go, you know, big time detail uh, with your houses or your builds, uh, this has got a lot of stuff in it. So you got Bibliocraft, uh, we got lighting, um, I think there's a couple other ones down here. Um, yeah, we got bookshelves, uh, we got big reactors, of course. Twilight Forest is in this. Uh, chisel items is in this, and then we got the the other, you know, all the chisel different blocks. Um, this one's cool here. I like that one. Um, got other chisel blocks, um, modded chisel block, computer craft, props mod, uh, props furniture. This is real cool. You got all different kinds of beds, um, different types of furniture. Here's some more furniture and some more props. The fish tank is really cool. Um, let's put the fish tank right here. See. You can actually put it, um, it doesn't have to go with the with the X and Y axis. You can put them on an angle. It's kind of cool. Um, so we also got uh, indoor stuff. Lots of cool stuff there. More furniture, more furniture. That's toys. Um, we got plumbing fixtures again. You can put toilet paper on people's houses. Um, cool storage barrels. Instead of making the, uh, the wine barrels. Uh, I don't think this has got that in it, though. Um, holiday props, <coughs> excuse me, we got sign props, uh, we got technology props, uh, props for patrons, um, electrical age, I've never played with this mod, but looks pretty cool if you have the time to um, put all this into a place. Um, Mine factory loaded, great, uh, this is going to be all your, your automated stuff for trees and harvesting and uh, mob spawning, Ender IO of course. Um, that's going to be one of your, your main uh, power um, uh, cable connections, uh, from what I can tell. Tinker's Construct, it's always going to be in there, Tinker's. Uh, what else do we got? We got uh, equipables, so you can make your traveler's gloves and put haste on it. Uh, your boots and stuff like that. Let's see, we've got extra utilities. Uh, Atomic Tinker. Imprinted crystals, uh, garden core. Uh, this is kind of cool. I don't know if this is actually something that you can actually do in the game, um, but you can make these cool little like garden baskets. Those are kind of cool. What else we got? We got garden trees. Um, this makes a really cool looking fence. So we also have better barrels and all its upgrades. Uh, mine chem, uh, mine chem elements, uh, buckets, uh, nether ores, of course. Uh, pressure plates, fluid canisters. I think this is, you know, very similar to having the the oil drums or just the basic drums. Uh, primitive mobs, uh, jetpacks, awesome. Solar expansion, uh, very easy and very good ways of getting power um, at the uh, the beginning of games. Uh, Steve's factory manager. Um, I never use that. Uh, Steve's workshop. This are awesome. We also have um, Eurebus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this is just another age that you can visit. It's kind of like Twilight Forest, but it's... How to describe it? If you've never seen it, it would be more like the nether with trees and grass. Um, and, the, and the sky is green. So that's what uh, you're going to find there. There's a lot of cool things there. Um, some of the, the weapons and the gear is, is pretty cool. Um, and the way that you get there is... There's actually a portal that you got to make. And I think that you need... Hmm, I think you need the staff and a couple other blocks. Um, I don't know if there would be, let me see if I can find them real quick so I can show you. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be in the Rebus blocks. So you do need this, the, the offering altar. You're going to need that and you're going to need uh, this, uh, I guess it's pronounced Guyan maybe? keystone you're going to need that and basically you use uh, chiseled blocks um, and you make a little altar you click on this with your wand and it creates a portal it's kind of cool um, you actually walk underneath it uh, what else do we have We've got witchery um, z tones um, not too sure what this is either um, never played with this one but i was looking at the blocks and some of the blocks are pretty freaking cool looking um, so we might figure out what these are later on too 
um, but it's uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of blocks. But some of these blocks are very decorative and very pretty. Uh, Galacticraft. Um, everybody likes to go in space. Soul shard, soul shards reborn, so that you can create your own spawns. Uh, monster spawners. And last but not least, there's nothing on the 14th page. So um, those are your mods. Let's put it back on the daylight real quick because I want to wrap this up pretty quickly. Um, let's reuse our ore finder real quick again. Let's go over this beautiful mountain over here. And I'm not going to show you all the terrains, but um, like I said, you're not going to get any big like crag mountains or anything like that. These terrains are more lifelike. Uh, one of the things I liked about Galacticraft when you went to the moon or to Mars... Um, wherever there, everything looked like there was craters, but it was the the terrain was smooth. Um, if you understand what I'm saying, and that's kind of like what the concept is here. So, when you when you get to um, rivers or mountains, they're just nice and smooth. The terrains are nice, gradual. You can pretty much walk all the way up this thing without falling off and killing yourself. Um, so let's go down here and see if we can find any diamonds. Um, no diamonds. Let's go across the river real quick. Is there any diamonds here? Uh, no diamonds. Let me find some diamonds real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so if you look down in my, my screen, I just clicked here in this, this, this chunk, and you got 14 ore diamonds and one, uh, a dense ore, uh, diamond. So, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is... Um, in real world, if you're ever in the forest or in the mountains and stuff, when you come down to the, the river beds or the lake beds, you're not going to find a bunch of sand. You're going to find a bunch of gravel or rocks. And that's, that's kind of what you see in this map pack. If you look on the, on the map, uh, where did we travel to? I think we're, where did we end up? I don't see us on here. Um, oh, I'm over here in this little river. So yeah, on this or this lake. So in this lake bed, it's got gravel all the way around the edge. You might have some sand, some sandbars and stuff on the inside bins and stuff like in like you would have in real life. Like right here, there's a there's a deposit of sand. Um, so yeah, um, so that's what the that's what the the real world um, generation alpha or whatever it's called does. But let's let's go back over here where that that the diamond was. Um, so if we just I'm gonna turn the sound down because I know you guys don't want to hear the all the hammering of the blocks. Um, if we go all the way down here, I do know just from looking at the configs that diamond is starts around level five and goes up to about a level thirty. So we should start to see it here any minute. I do hear lava. So there is sapphire. So let's go up to about level five and let's, there we go. So now I want to show you what happens when you find um, the veins. So just like I said, in, in beyond reality, everything's found in big gigantic clumps. Um, so that's what you're going to find in, in this mod pack as well. So when you find one diamond, you're not just going to find four or eight, you're going to find a bunch. And I guess that's pretty cool if you're if you're into the diamonds or whatever you're looking for. Um, but you might you know you might end up being in an area. Uh, let's grab a block, plug that up real quick because I don't want that. Of course, I picked wood. Whoops. All right. There we go. So of course you know you might need a bunch of iron and you don't have iron anywhere near you. So that would be that would be the issue. So. Um, just depending on where you're at, you're going to find different ones. But I guess, you know, if you're looking for diamonds, this this would be an awesome find. Um, everybody needs diamonds. So, yeah, you can see how many diamonds you're going to find. Let's put a block there. So it's going to be, uh, and then you're going to also see all this lapis lizzle stuff. There is another, um, there is another way, and I think it's in Buildcraft. Let me go over here and look at Buildcraft real quick. There it is, Buildcraft. Or industrial craft. I think it's way down at the bottom of the mod pack. Um, these things right here, the OV scanners. There's the OD and the OV. Um, these things are cool because basically what it does, it looks for how many of a certain ore is around you. So that's saying that there's 101 diamonds in all uh, in this area. So um, basically, 
it's going to tell you a little bit more than that staff did. So that staff said there was 15, but that only looks at a 16 by 16 area. So if I move away, I might be missing uh, a whole lot more than what we thought. So there might be, you know, diamonds over here, which would be away from where we were standing. Uh, so just another way of, of finding more ores. Um, actually, this I like this one a lot better. So yeah, guys, that is Genesis. Uh, it's going to be on the AT launcher, and right now it's a private pack. I'm going to check with the uh, the author uh, that wrote the pack uh, that's on our server if it's okay to uh, give out the the passcode to get it and to download it. Um, it's not a very uh, big as far as memory uh, map pack. I'm usually not able to turn my view distance completely up uh, and my frame rate's completely up when I'm recording. Uh, but on this map pack, I've not had any uh, any issues at all. Um, so that's awesome. Um, so yeah, this will I'll put the description in the link below. Um, if you guys uh, like what you've seen so far and you're more interested, um, also check out the website. Uh, in the description um, and get whitelisted, join the server, say hi, play with the other guys. And uh, also, if you're enjoying any of my other videos, uh, please click the subscribe if you're new. Um, if you are liking this series or any of my other series, click the like button. I appreciate it. Or leave comments. Uh, just let me know what you're thinking. And also, uh, if you guys look up in my channel corner where all the, the uh, Twitch and stuff is, there's a patron link now. Um, so. If you'd like to become a patron of the channel, that'd be appreciative. Um, I'm going to start doing live streams, and uh, so you can be a part of the Renovate channel and the Renovate um, recording entertainment process. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.